if you are looking for movies featuring cheating wife. In this video, we will recommend the top 10 cheating wife movies. So, check it out. Number 10. Don't Come Around Here, 2017. Director, Navid Sanati. Here to think about killing anybody else. When Chuck, Jordan Salem, learns that his father may not have much longer to live, he back in the place he grew up in, must face all the haunting memories from his past and the ghosts of the present. There he must come to terms with his troubled brother Lenny, Jeremy Sandy, his own fears, and a secret he has been hiding for years. Don't Come Around Here won Best Mississippi Film at the 2017 Oxford Film Festival. The drama is produced by Travis Mills. Number 9. Mother Valley, 2023. Director, Carlos Chahin. Lebanon, summer, 1958. Three sisters from good Christian society are on vacation in the Lebanese mountains. Quiet life of the village is shaken by the echoes of a revolution brewing in Beirut and by the arrival of two French summer visitors. But it is from within the family that the upheaval will come. The eldest sister, Layla, a perfect mother and wife, will open their eyes to the patriarchal society that keeps them under control. In young Lebanon which dreams of a golden age, can a woman have a destiny other than that traced by men? Number 8. Mari, 2020. Director, Andrea Staka. I'm from, I'm from Poland, working at the airport. Okay. And you, you are from here? From oh, yeah. Routinely, but with dedication, Mari, Maria Skaricic, runs her small family's modest household. Although she lives right next to the airport with her husband and their three teenage kids, she loves her family, cares for them, but sometimes almost feels like a stranger in her own home. Who are these people? She finds herself gazing at the planes overhead, longing for change and the unknown. When a younger man moves into the house next door one day, she puts her life to the test. Number 7, The Wait, 2021. Director, Aku Lohimis. Hey. Ellie lives with her husband, Pastor Miko, on one of the archipelago islands off the city of Turku in southwest Finland. One summer day, a stranger appears on the small island who turns out to be an acquaintance from the couple's past. Their childhood friend Olav, Olav's arrival forces Ellie to reevaluate her feelings for Miko, but also her deeply hidden wishes and desires. The film is an adaptation of the romance novel Ellie's Youth from 1899 set in the present. The author of the work is the Finnish writer and journalist Juhani Aho, who was nominated 12 times for the Nobel Prize in Literature. Number 6. Obsession, 2019. Director, Goran Dukic. Mr. Jordan, if you want to stay here, you have to stop looking at me the way you do. And how have I been looking at you? Before meeting George Good, Sonny Jordan was just a lost drifter with a troubled past floating from town to town, looking for work. As fate would have it, Sonny ends up saving George's life from a murderous back-alley mugger. As thanks, George gives Sonny a home and a job as a mechanic on his farm. In the lonely Louisiana bayou, Sonny quickly settles in and makes himself useful around the place. But then Sonny meets Larissa, George's alluring wife. She has a mysterious past, and the two are irresistibly drawn to each other. The two begin a passionate affair, leading them to construct a twisted plot to take George's life in cold blood in order to be together. As their despicable plan unravels, they learn how far they are willing to go to cover their misdeed. Number 5. Ember, 2016. Director, Zeki Demirkubus. Gururundan. When her husband, Chemal, Kanar Sindoruk, is arrested in Romania, Emine Aslihan Gurbuz finds herself in serious trouble. She is unemployed and has a son in need of urgent medical care. As a solution, she accepts a job in a clothing workshop. And there, she discovers that the owner is Zia, her husband's former boss and whom he blames for the arrest. Months later, when Shamal returns, she discovers that the bill for her son's treatment was strangely paid by Zia. Number 4. Little Accidents, 2014. Director, Sarah Colangelo. 
Are you anymore? I end up being more exposed than I thought. Oh my God. Are they mad at dad because of the mine? A small American town is still experiencing the aftermath of a mine accident when one of the area's most beloved young people disappears. The event, which traumatizes the inhabitants, makes the detective team make the decision to reunite three of them. A surviving miner, the lonely wife of an executive related to the incident, and a young man from the area who hides a huge network of secrets. Thus, they will try to unravel the mystery behind the boy's disappearance. Number 3. Fidelity, 2019. Director, Nijina Seifuleva. Lena, 30 years old, can look back on a fulfilling life. She works as an obstetrician and gynecologist. Her colleagues respect her, and happy patients always thank her. Everything is going well in my private life, too. Her husband, Sergei, works as an actor in a theater. He is always cautious, but never interferes in their affairs. But for some time now, Lena has begun to notice changes in her husband. They hadn't had with each other for a long time. One day, she reads a text message from her husband and is convinced that he is cheating on her. At some point, she cheats on her husband with an unknown lover out of revenge. Number 2. Tulip Fever, 2017. Director, Justin Chadwick. Chosen by one of the richest men in the city. Love, honor, and obey. Drama set in the 17th century in Holland. During a time when a single tulip bulb cost almost 10 times more than the average salary, the city is plunged into a speculative fever around the tulip trade. A rich merchant decides to hire a famous portrait painter to immortalize the beauty of his young wife. With the first brushstroke, a devouring passion begins between the young Sophia and the attractive painter. As a torrid and fiery affair takes hold, the young lovers seek to get rid of the intrusive husband and escape, a thirst for freedom that will have a price as precious as that of a tulip. Number 1. Nocturnal Animals, 2016. Director, Tom Ford. Do you know that you were my first crush? You were my first crush, too. Don't do this. Susan Amy Adams is an art dealer who feels increasingly isolated from her partner, Army Hammer. One day, she receives a manuscript written by Edward, Jake Gyllenhaal, her first husband, in turn, the tragic book follows the character Tony Hastings, a man who takes his wife, Isla Fisher, and daughter, Ellie Bamber, on vacation. But the trip takes a violent turn when he crosses paths with a gang. During the tense reading, Susan thinks about why she received the text, discovers painful truths about herself, and remembers traumas from her failed relationship. <laughs> 